in the heart of the vibrant metropolis of Harbourville, where the hustle and bustle of city life echoed through the towering skyscrapers that seemed to touch the clouds. A man named Richard Sterling resided in the lap of luxury. His name echoed through the business circles, synonymous with success, opulence, and an empire built on shrewd financial acumen. The city lights painted a mesmerizing tapestry across the night sky, creating a shimmering backdrop for Richard's palatial residence, a testament to his achievement in the world of commerce. Within the confines of his lavish mansion, Richard basked in the material abundance that his wealth provided. Gleaming marble floors, intricate artwork adorning the walls, and expansive rooms filled with the trappings of affluence were but a mere reflection of his triumphs. A fleet of luxurious cars lined the driveway, and the echoes of prosperity reverberated in every corner. However, Amid the grandeur, an undeniable hollowness pervaded Richard's existence, an emptiness that could not be filled by the glittering treasure surrounding him. Despite the extravagant lifestyle and the facade of success that Richard presented to the world, a poignant loneliness had taken root within him. The vastness of his mansion seemed to magnify the echoing solitude that occupied his every step. The lavish parties and social gatherings held within the confines of his opulent home were merely spectacles, masking the underlying ache of isolation that lingered in the shadows. Richard's wealth had afforded him everything money could buy except the one thing he craved the most, genuine, heartfelt connection. The allure of financial success had, in a paradoxical twist, distanced him from the warmth of human companionship. Surrounded by an ocean of material abundance, he found himself adrift in a sea of emotional desolation, yearning for a different kind of wealth, the richness of love. As the city outside his window thrived with life, pulsating with the energy of a thousand dreams, Richard felt a yearning deep within his heart. Beyond the walls of his mansion, beneath the dazzling lights of Harbourville, there existed a world of untapped emotions and uncharted territories of the heart. The dichotomy between the glittering exterior and the solitude within set the stage for a profound journey, a quest for love that would redefine the very fabric of Richard Sterling's existence. In the chapters that follow, the narrative will unravel the layers of Richard's life, exploring the complexities of human connection the yearning for emotional fulfillment, and the transformative power of love. Amidst the skyscrapers that touched the clouds and the city lights that illuminated the night, Richard's story would unfold, resonating with readers on a deeply emotional level, transcending the boundaries of wealth and material abundance. Chapter 1. The Solitary Shadows Within the opulent walls of Richard Sterling's grandiose mansion, a paradoxical tale unfolded a narrative that spoke not of the triumphs of wealth, but of the haunting solitude that cast shadows upon its echoing halls. As the sun dipped below the horizon, leaving behind the glittering skyline of Harbourville, Richard's sprawling residence, a testament to his unparalleled success, transformed into a sanctuary of solitude. The mansion, adorned with decadent furnishings and adorned with priceless art, seemed to be a living museum of affluence. Yet, despite the extravagance that enveloped him, Richard's abode lacked the warmth that one might expect from a place so lavishly appointed. The halls echoed with emptiness, a stark contrast to the vibrant exterior that Harbourville presented to the world. The very walls that bore witness to Richard's achievements concealed the quiet desperation that lingered within. Richard's days were a relentless pursuit of financial conquests, a ceaseless carousel of business meetings, and strategic maneuvers that propelled his empire forward. Boardrooms were his battlegrounds, and financial triumphs his victories. 
Yet, as the city lights flickered on, casting a glow over Harborville, the nights brought with them an unsettling silence, a silence that accentuated the void in his heart. In the stillness of the night, when the world outside his mansion slumbered, Richard found himself face to face with the haunting solitude that no amount of wealth could dispel. The rooms that witnessed elaborate soirees and gatherings were now silent witnesses to his innermost struggles. The glittering chandeliers, once ablaze with the radiance of celebration, now cast elongated shadows, creating an eerie dance of light and darkness. It was in these solitary moments that Richard's quest for genuine connection began to take root. The allure of financial success, once all-encompassing, now seemed like a mere facade in the face of the profound loneliness that enveloped him. The echelons of society celebrated his triumphs, yet the intimate corners of his mansion harbored the stark truth, the solitude that seeped into his soul, an emptiness that transcended the boundaries of material wealth. As the city slept, Richard found himself standing by the expansive windows, gazing out at the twinkling lights of Harborville. The reflection staring back at him held a yearning for something more, something beyond the realm of business transactions and monetary gains. It was a call to embark on a journey of self-reflection, to peel back the layers of success and reveal the vulnerability that lay beneath. Thus, Chapter 1 set the stage for Richard's introspective exploration, a journey fueled by the profound desire for genuine connection. The solitary shadows within the mansion would become the canvas upon which his emotional odyssey unfolded, weaving a narrative that transcended the tangible riches surrounding him and delved into the intangible wealth of the heart. Chapter 2 Love's Elusive Traces as Richard Sterling ventured deeper into the intricate tapestry of human emotions, Chapter 2 unfolded against the backdrop of Harborville's bustling streets and dimly lit cafes, where the city itself became a silent witness to his quest for love. Each step he took in pursuit of genuine connection exposed him to a myriad of individuals, each carrying their own burdens, dreams, and vulnerabilities. The city's pulse reverberated through the air as Richard navigated its labyrinthine streets, man on a mission to unravel the mysteries of the heart. In the glow of streetlights and amidst the rhythmic hum of urban life, he encountered various souls, each one a potential bearer of the elusive treasure he sought, love. The encounters were as diverse as the city itself. In a quaint café tucked away in a quiet corner, Richard found himself engrossed in conversations that unfolded like chapters of a novel. Each person he met seemed to carry a unique story, a narrative woven with the threads of joy, pain, and the eternal search for connection. The traces of longing and hope left behind in the wake of these interactions became the markers of his emotional journey. There was Sarah, passionate artist grappling with the complexities of expressing her emotions on canvas. Her eyes held a depth that resonated with Richard, reflecting a shared yearning for something beyond the surface. In their conversations, he discovered the beauty of vulnerability and the transformative power of opening one's heart. Then, there was David, a musician whose melodies echoed the sentiments that words often failed to convey. Richard found solace in the harmony of David's compositions, realizing that love could be expressed not only through words but also through the universal language of music. The city's streets became a symphony, and Richard, an eager listener, discovered the enchanting notes of connection. As he delved further into the tapestry of human connection, Richard's encounters became a mosaic of emotions, moments of laughter, shared dreams, and the occasional pang of heartache. The dimly lit cafes, with their cozy ambience, 
witnessed the ebb and flow of conversations that held the promise of something more, yet the elusive nature of love continued to evade Richard's firm grasp. The city, with its myriad stories and diverse inhabitants, became an intricate stage for the unfolding drama of Richard's emotional exploration. Each chapter of his encounters added layers to the narrative, and the traces of love left behind painted a portrait of a man in search of a connection that went beyond the superficial. As chapter 2 concluded, the elusive nature of love persisted, weaving an intricate tale of hope and heartache. Richard's journey, marked by the elusive traces of love, propelled him forward, setting the stage for deeper revelations and unexpected twists in the chapters that lay ahead. The city, with its labyrinth of emotions, awaited the next turn in Richard's quest for the elusive richness of the heart. Chapter 3 Echoes of a Broken Heart The city of Harborville, with its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, became a silent witness to the unfolding drama of Richard Sterling's emotional odyssey. As Chapter 3 began, echoes of a broken heart reverberated through the opulent halls of Richard's grandiose mansion. Past relationships, like spectres from the shadows, cast long, haunting echoes on his journey towards genuine connection. Behind the polished exterior of the successful businessman, a vulnerability emerged as Richard delved deeper into the realm of emotions. The memories of love lost and missed opportunities became the ghosts that haunted the corridors of his heart. The cityscape, with its myriad tales of both love and loss, served as a reflective canvas for the introspective exploration of his own emotional turmoil. In the quiet moments within his mansion, Richard found himself grappling with the echoes of relationships that had left indelible marks on his soul. Faces from the past flashed before him, each one carrying a story of love and loss. The rooms that once echoed with the sounds of celebration now resonated with the silent whispers of heartbreak. One such echo belonged to Emily a woman whose laughter had once filled the mansion's halls with joy. However, the echoes of their love story had faded into the recesses of memory, leaving behind a poignant ache. Their paths had diverged, leaving Richard with a lingering sense of loss and the realization that even the most profound connections could slip through one's fingers. Another echo emerged in the form of Christopher, a friend who had stood by Richard during times of triumph and tribulation. Yet, the complexities of life had strained their bond, leaving behind a fracture that echoed with the resonance of unspoken words and unresolved emotions. As Richard revisited these echoes of a broken heart, the city became a confidant to his emotional journey. The parks where lovers once strolled, the cafes where promises were made, and the city lights that witnessed whispered confessions all became symbols of love's transience. Each location bore witness to the fragility of human connections, adding depth to Richard's understanding of the intricate dance between joy and heartache. The emotional resonance of Chapter 3 extended beyond Richard's personal experiences, touching upon universal themes of love and loss that resonated with readers. The city, with its stoic buildings and vibrant streets, became a living testament to the ephemerality of human connections. As Richard confronted the echoes of a broken heart, he began to peel away the layers of emotional armor, laying bare the vulnerability that would shape the chapters yet to come. The stage was set for further revelations and a profound exploration of the intricacies of the heart. The echoes of Harborville would continue to weave a poignant narrative, guiding Richard towards a deeper understanding of love, loss, and the transformative power of emotional resilience. Chapter 4 The Enigmatic Stranger Amidst the cacophony of Harborville's bustling streets, 
a chapter unfolded in Richard Sterling's life that would alter the course of his emotional journey. A mysterious stranger, shrouded in an aura of enigmatic charm, entered Richard's world, disrupting the familiar rhythm of his existence. This encounter, seemingly innocuous at first, would become the catalyst for a series of events that promised to challenge his perceptions of love and unveil hidden truths. The city's chaos served as the backdrop for the stranger's entrance, a juxtaposition to the order and precision that defined Richard's carefully curated life. The stranger moved through the urban hustle with an effortless grace, drawing Richard's attention like a moth to a flame. Their eyes met in a fleeting moment that seemed to transcend the mundane, a gaze that held the secrets of the universe and hinted at a profound connection waiting to be unearthed. The stranger's enigmatic charm was magnetic, leaving an indelible impression on Richard's consciousness. In the subsequent days, thoughts of the mysterious encounter infiltrated his mind disrupting the monotony of business meetings and financial pursuits. The stranger became an elusive presence, a figure that lingered in the periphery of Richard's thoughts, sparking a curiosity that surpassed the bounds of rationality. As Richard sought to unravel the mystery surrounding the stranger, he found himself drawn into a realm where the conventional rules of his structured life no longer applied. The stranger, with an air of mystery that seemed to defy explanation, became both an object of fascination and a catalyst for introspection. Harborville Streets transformed into a stage for the unfolding drama between Richard and the enigmatic stranger. Unbeknownst to Richard, the encounter marked the beginning of a narrative that would delve into the complexities of human connection. The stranger, a cipher of emotions and untold stories, became a symbol of the unpredictable nature of love. Their interactions became a dance of revelation and concealment, challenging Richard to question the very foundations of his understanding of love and companionship. The city, with its towering skyscrapers and labyrinthine streets, became a metaphor for the unexplored territories of the heart. As Richard and the enigmatic stranger navigated the urban landscape together, the narrative took unexpected turns, introducing elements of suspense and intrigue that would keep readers on the edge of their seats. In the enigmatic stranger, Richard discovered a mirror reflecting the uncharted aspects of his own soul. The unfolding chapters would explore the intersections of their lives unraveling hidden truths and challenging preconceived notions. The city's chaos, once a mere backdrop, now mirrored the tumultuous emotions within Richard as he embarked on a journey that promised both self-discovery and the unraveling of the enigmatic stranger's mysteries. As chapter 4 concluded, the stage was set for a deeper exploration of the connection between Richard and the mysterious figure who had entered his life. The enigma of the stranger would become a focal point, propelling the narrative towards greater emotional intensity, and leaving readers eagerly anticipating the revelations that lay ahead. Chapter 5 A Dance of Deception In the Heart of Harborville, Richard Sterling's life took a dramatic turn as he grew closer to the mysterious stranger who had entered his world. Chapter 5 unfolded as a mesmerizing dance of deception, where the boundaries between truth and force had blurred, creating a web of intrigue that captivated both the characters and the readers alike. As Richard and the mysterious stranger navigated the labyrinth of their burgeoning connection, layers of secrecy enveloped their interactions. The city, with its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, became the expansive stage for this intricate dance of deception. The urban landscape, once a neutral backdrop, now mirrored the complexities and twists that marked the evolving relationship between the two protagonists. The stranger, with an enigmatic charm that seemed to defy scrutiny, 
brought an element of mystery into Richard's meticulously ordered life. The dance of deception commenced as secrets and lies intertwined, creating a narrative that left both characters and readers questioning the authenticity of every exchange. The city's lights, flickering in the background, cast an ethereal glow on the unfolding drama. Harborville, with its pulsating energy, became the canvas for a narrative where reality and illusion coexisted in a delicate balance. The clandestine meetings in dimly lit corners, whispered confidences amidst the urban cacophony, and stolen glances beneath the city lights, all became part of a choreography that defied the conventional rhythms of love stories. The emotional resonance between Richard and the mysterious stranger deepened, creating a magnetic pull that defied rational explanation. Their connection became a dance floor where the steps of deception were executed with precision. The stranger's secrets, carefully guarded and selectively revealed, added a layer of complexity to the unfolding narrative. As readers were drawn deeper into the dance, the unexpected turns of the narrative kept them on the edge of their seats. Each revelation brought with it a surge of anticipation, and each lie deepened the intrigue, leaving the audience questioning the true nature of the characters and the authenticity of their emotions. Richard, once a stalwart figure in the world of business, found himself navigating a terrain where intuition and suspicion became his compass. The enigmatic stranger, a master of the dance, led him through a maze of emotions, challenging his preconceptions and pushing him beyond the boundaries of his comfort zone. The dance of deception, with its twists and turns, served as a crucible for the character's growth. The emotional complexity of the narrative resonated with readers, who became increasingly invested in the unfolding drama. The city, with its skyscrapers standing tall as silent spectators, bore witness to a tale of love entangled in the delicate threads of secrecy. As Chapter 5 concluded, the dance of deception reached its zenith, setting the stage for the narrative to pivot towards resolution or unravel further into the abyss of uncertainty. The city lights flickered, casting shadows on the characters entwined in this intricate dance, leaving readers eagerly awaiting the revelations and conflicts that would shape the chapters to come. Chapter 6, Shadows of the Past as the dance of deception continued between Richard Sterling and the enigmatic stranger, the shadows of the past emerged, casting a poignant darkness over their blossoming connection. In Chapter 6, the narrative took an enthralling turn, unveiling the stranger's tragic history and painting the canvas of their relationship with hues of heartbreak. Richard, fueled by determination, found himself drawn into the depths of the enigmatic stranger's past, and this quest became a driving force propelling the story towards a climax teeming with suspense and emotional intensity. The city, with its towering skyscrapers and dimly lit corners, provided an evocative backdrop to the revelations that unfolded. The urban landscape became a metaphorical stage where the shadows of the past stretched across the characters, intertwining their destinies in a dance that transcended time and emotion. The enigmatic stranger, once shrouded in mystery, gradually became a canvas painted with the hues of a tragic history. The layers of secrecy that had veiled their past began to peel away, revealing a narrative fraught with pain, loss, and heartache. The city lights, flickering with an intensity matching the emotional currents, illuminated the path towards understanding, even as it threw new shadows upon the unfolding tale. Richard's determination to unravel the mystery behind the stranger's pain became a potent force driving the narrative forward. The once crisp lines between their lives blurred, and Richard found himself entangled in a complex tapestry of emotions. 
The enigmatic stranger's past became a mirror reflecting the vulnerabilities that both bound and separated them. The chapters unfolded with each revelation, each fragment of the stranger's past painting a vivid picture of despair and resilience. The city streets, which had once witnessed the dance of deception, now bore witness to Richard's relentless pursuit of truth. The skyscrapers, standing tall against the night sky, became silent observers to the emotional turbulence that enveloped the characters. The emotional intensity reached a crescendo as Richard and the enigmatic stranger confronted the shadows of the past. Their connection, now layered with a weight of shared history, evolved into a fragile yet resilient bond. The city, with its echoes of love and loss, became a silent witness to the transformative power of understanding and empathy. As the narrative propelled towards a climax, suspense permeated the air. The revelations from the shadows of the past added depth to the characters, infusing the story with a gravitas that resonated with readers. The emotional roller coaster intensified, and the city, with its labyrinthine streets and towering structures, became an immersive backdrop to a tale that transcended time and circumstance. In the closing moments of Chapter 6, the shadows of the past set the stage for a climactic resolution. Richard's journey, intertwined with the enigmatic stranger's history, stood at a crossroads. The city, with its myriad stories and silent witnesses, waited the unfolding of the next chapters, where the interplay of emotions, conflicts, and resolution would shape the destiny of these characters entangled in the intricate dance of their shared history. Chapter 7 Unraveling the Threads as Richard Sterling delved deeper into the labyrinth of love and deceit, Chapter 7 unfolded, taking him on a journey to unravel the tangled threads of both his own heart and the enigmatic stranger's haunting past. The narrative, reaching a crescendo, propelled readers into a realm where conflicts intensified, and the characters found themselves confronting the harsh realities of their intertwined fates. The city, with its winding streets and towering skyscrapers, mirrored the intricate complexities of the emotional landscape in which Richard and the enigmatic stranger found themselves entangled. Each step forward became a symbolic exploration, a labyrinthine quest to unravel the enigma that bound their destinies. The city lights, flickering in the background, cast an ethereal glow on the unfolding drama. Richard's journey to understand the enigmatic stranger's past became a mirror reflecting his own inner turmoil. The threads of his heart, entwined with longing and vulnerability, wove a narrative that echoed with the universal struggles of human connection. The city streets, once a mere stage for their encounters, now became a metaphor for the winding pathways of love and deceit. As the narrative reached its crescendo, conflicts between truth and illusion heightened. The dance of deception that had characterized their interactions evolved into a symphony of emotions, echoing with the discordant notes of love, betrayal, and redemption. The enigmatic stranger's past, no longer confined to the shadows, stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The labyrinthine journey took Richard and the enigmatic stranger through moments of confrontation, revelation, and introspection. The emotional resonance between the characters deepened as they peeled away the layers of deception, laying bare the vulnerabilities that had been concealed beneath the surface. The city's ambience, a silent witness to their struggles, absorbed the echoes of their emotional turbulence. Conflicts intensified as Richard confronted not only the enigmatic stranger's past but also the truths buried within his own heart. The threads of their intertwined fates became more intricate, 
weaving a narrative that demanded resolution. The city, with its towers of glass and steel, seemed to stand as a metaphor for the fragility of the connections that held the characters together. In the face of the harsh realities that emerged, Richard's determination to unravel the threads of love and deceit became a guiding force. The enigmatic stranger, once veiled in mystery, now stood revealed, their vulnerabilities laid bare. The emotional intensity reached its zenith as the characters grappled with the consequences of their choices, confronting the shadows that lingered in the corners of their shared history. As Chapter 7 drew to a close, the city lights shimmered against the night sky, casting a glow on the characters standing at the crossroads of their intertwined destinies. The labyrinth of love and deceit, though complex and challenging, had become the crucible in which Richard and the enigmatic stranger forged a connection that transcended the boundaries of deception. The narrative's crescendo set the stage for the climactic resolution that awaited in the chapters yet to unfold, promising readers a compelling and emotionally resonant conclusion to the intricate tale of love, deception, and self-discovery. Chapter 8 The Abyss of Despair As the narrative raced towards its climactic zenith, Chapter 8 plunged Richard Sterling into the abyss of despair, a harrowing descent marked by betrayals, revelations, and the confronting of harsh truths that he had long avoided. The emotional roller coaster, once a delicate dance of love and deceit, now hurtled towards its peak demanding resolution and redemption for the characters ensnared in the intricate web of this tale of love and tragedy. The city, which had witnessed the highs and lows of Richard's journey, loomed large as the stage for the emotional unravelling. Harbourville's towering skyscrapers and dimly lit corners became silent spectators to the turmoil that unfolded within Richard's heart. The urban landscape, once a vibrant backdrop, now reflected the sombre hues of despair as the story approached its defining moment. Betrayals, like fissures in the foundation of Richard's carefully constructed world, began to surface. The threads of trust that had woven through the narrative unraveled, leaving behind a sense of disillusionment and pain. The enigmatic stranger, once a captivating cipher, became a source of torment as the revelations pushed Richard to the brink of emotional collapse. In the abyss of despair, Richard found himself confronting the darkest corners of his own heart. The choices he had made, the illusions he had clung to, and the vulnerabilities he had concealed emerged from the shadows, forcing him to reckon with the consequences of his actions. The city's lights, now a distant glow, mirrored the flickering hope that struggled to survive within him. Revelations unfolded like chapters in a tragedy, each one adding weight to the emotional tumult that gripped Richard. The city streets, once bustling with life, now seemed eerily quiet, amplifying the isolation and despair that enveloped him. The abyss yawned wide, threatening to engulf not just Richard but the very essence of the connections he had forged. The enigmatic stranger, too, faced their own demons, their past casting long shadows that added a layer of complexity to the unfolding narrative. The city, with its labyrinthine paths, became a metaphor for the entangled destinies of the characters. The emotional intensity soared as the abyss of despair challenged the very foundations of love, trust, and the resilience of the human spirit. The narrative reached a crescendo, demanding resolution for the characters entwined in this intricate tapestry of emotions. Richard, once seemingly invincible in his wealth and success, now stood on the precipice of vulnerability. The city, with its stoic structures and silent streets, bore witness to the unravelling of a man's soul and the potential for redemption that lay beyond the abyss of despair. As Chapter 8 drew to a close, 
the emotional storm showed no signs of abating. The city lights, flickering with an intensity matching the character's struggles, cast long shadows on the road to resolution. Readers, ensnared in the complexities of love and despair, awaited the concluding chapters with bated breath, eager to witness the redemption and closure that would define the ultimate fate of Richard, and the enigmatic stranger in this poignant tale of love, tragedy, and self-discovery. Chapter 9 A New Dawn As the final chapter unfolded, the threads of the narrative converged towards a resolution, drawing Richard Sterling and the enigmatic stranger to the culmination of their intricate journey. In this poignant and realistic conclusion, the city's backdrop of love and loss played witness to the unfolding of a story that had traversed the depths of despair and the heights of self-discovery. The narrative, like a carefully woven tapestry, reached its zenith in a new dawn. The city of Harbourville, with its towering skyscrapers and dimly lit corners, stood as a silent witness to the emotional odyssey that had unfolded within its bounds. The urban landscape, once a dynamic stage for the dance of love and deceit, now reflected the weariness of the characters and the transformative power of their experiences. The city lights, flickering with a subdued radiance, mirrored the hope that lingered within the hearts of Richard and the enigmatic stranger. Richard's journey of self-discovery, fraught with betrayals and revelations, had pushed him to confront the deepest recesses of his own heart. The city streets, where he had embarked on the quest for genuine connection, bore the imprints of his struggles and resilience. The enigmatic stranger's secrets, once shrouded in mystery, had unfurled, adding layers of complexity to the narrative. The labyrinth of love and deceit had given way to a landscape where truths, no matter how painful, paved the way for understanding. In the final chapter, Richard and the enigmatic stranger found themselves at a crossroads, the culmination of their tumultuous journey. The city, with its myriad stories and silent witnesses, became a reflection of the intricate tapestry of human connections. The emotional roller coaster, which had taken readers through the abyss of despair, now shifted towards a glimmer of hope. The resolution was neither overly optimistic nor mired in tragedy. Instead, it echoed the nuances of reality, acknowledging that life's journeys are often fraught with complexity and ambiguity. Richard, having faced the shadows within and navigated the uncertainties of love, emerged changed but resilient. The enigmatic stranger, whose past had cast long shadows, found solace in the shared understanding that had blossomed between them. As the narrative concluded, the city lights began to regain their vibrancy, casting a warm glow on the characters who had weathered the storms of love and loss. The new dawn that emerged was not one of unbridled happiness, but a dawn of acceptance, growth, and the possibility of forging connections that went beyond the superficial. It was a reminder that even in the darkest moments, the human spirit possesses the resilience to embrace a new beginning. Chapter 9 resonated with the readers, offering a conclusion that was both emotionally satisfying and thought-provoking. The city, with its skyscrapers touching the clouds and streets filled with echoes of countless stories, bore witness to the intricate dance of human emotions. The narrative's final strokes painted a canvas where the complexities of love were celebrated, and the characters, having traversed the labyrinth of their emotions, stood on the threshold of a new dawn. As the story came to a close, the city's lights continued to shimmer against the night sky, casting a glow on the evolving landscape of Richard and the enigmatic stranger's lives. The journey had reached its conclusion, leaving readers with a lingering sense of introspection and the enduring belief that even after the darkest night, a new dawn of love and understanding could emerge.